Whether you are a seasoned digital artist or a casual internet user, you have likely encountered both JPEG and JPG files. But what's the difference between them? In this video, we will explore the world of digital image formats and uncover the mysteries of JPEG versus JPG. Let's start with JPEG. Short for Joint Photographic Experts Group, JPEG is a versatile image file format known for its lossy compression capabilities. This compression method optimizes file size without sacrificing too much image quality. Hence, photographs and complex images can still use this format. Through the lossy compression of JPEG, images load faster, enhancing the user experience. However, repeated editing and saving can decrease the image quality over time. That's why JPEG, led by the ISO, International Organization for Standardization, keeps working to make sure digital images meet certain rules and stay high quality. Now on to JPG, which is essentially the same as JPEG but distinguished solely by the absence of an E on the format name. The emergence of JPG happened after the limitations observed in the early Windows operating systems. At that time, the MS-DOS 8.3 and FAT 16 file systems could only take up to a maximum 3 letter limit for file name extensions. So, JPG was introduced to provide compatibility and convenience. Unix-based operating systems like Mac and Linux didn't have this limitation, so they save images in the JPEG format. Currently, the newer Windows operating systems have overcome these limitations, but JPG's tradition lives on, making it easy to switch between different types of files. Now that we know the origin and functionalities of JPEG and JPG, let's explore their similarities. Both file formats are raster graphics, meaning they use small dots called pixels to create images on digital devices. In addition, they make images smaller without losing much quality, which helps them load quickly on websites and take less space on devices. So who should use JPEG image file formats? Generally, photographers and bloggers use JPEG because it keeps colors looking good and works well with different devices. Further, web developers use JPEG to make sure the sites load fast and look good for users. Summing up, let's figure out the pros and cons of JPEG files starting with the pros. JPEG files are popular and universally recognized image file formats, seamlessly supports most browsers, software and apps, quickly transferable and accessible for viewing online, saved in a smaller file size than the original image format, easily convertible to other file formats like PNG and GIF. Moving forward with the cons. The lossy compression and heavily compressed images may affect the image quality. Sometimes, JPEG images become difficult to edit due to too much compression. Not ideal for images with sharp edges or large areas of uniform color. Want to convert your JPG format images to JPEG? If yes, then the process is simple. Once you open your image on Photos, click See More followed by Save As. After that, select .jpeg on the Save As Type option and hit Save. That's all. Another way is by using Paint. Just open the image with Paint and navigate to File, there, hover over Save As and click JPEG Picture. Now add .jpeg in the file name and hit Save. Congratulations! Your image is now saved in the JPEG format. Further, you can see both the images having JPG and JPEG formats coexisting together. In summary, despite their different names, JPEG and JPG serve the same purpose. So whether you are saving your masterpiece as a JPEG or JPG, you are making the right choice. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe for more insightful content.